Thanks, Karen Corla. Um, the link between child well-being and young people being active, playing sports, is obviously extremely well established. But for young people to be able to play sports, we need sports facilities in local communities. Um, and we don't currently have the facilities that we should have um, right across the country. I'll give you one example in the area where I live, in Kingswood. It's a place where about 4,000 people live. There's about 16 or more um, local sports clubs. Um, but most of them have to go out to train outside of uh, the area. Um, there is four tennis courts in the middle of the estate which have gone into disrepair, haven't been used for years and years. And the community has come together and had a very active campaign for a sports facility hub in that place instead of the unused and now disrepaired uh, tennis courts. Um, they have come up with a detailed plan. The sports clubs, the residence association, the community centre all definitely. come together behind it, agree to, uh, to do all the work related to it. There is a specific local objective for it in the local development plan, but Thank what you. there isn't is funding. Do you agree that facilities like these need to be properly funded? To Deputy Murphy, that sounds like a very good project in Kingswood. I mean, the answer that I'd be giving is that the sports capital funding should be an avenue with the local authority. We will be making sports capital allocations probably around October, certainly in the autumn of this year. Sports capital funding is largely annual now. Uh, there's a lot of money in it, hundreds of millions, and I would advise that that might be a route forward. Today